Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to Siem Electronics. Friends, today I have this uh, power supply which is using using a DH321 IC. When we check any power supply, check its input terminals. The input resistance must be visible. Here I cannot find any resistor at the two terminals of input terminal of AC input terminal I don't find and if I check the fuse fuse have no continuity so fuse is open first of all I will make a jumper it is for testing when it will clear then I will install In the first step, when I found the input capacitor in this shape, I replaced it. I replaced this capacitor with new one because it was totally burned out. So I replaced this capacitor because when it is in this shape, burned out, you have to replace. And then now I install the fuse. Still, it have no reading. How you can test in very easy step. For any power supply, set multimeter to diode mode. Here you have main capacitor. It is very uh, useful technique to test the input section of any power supply. Connect diode mode. Connect one lead to the capacitor terminal any one terminal black heat connect here connect AC terminal it will show one diode second terminal one diode now move this terminal this lead here no indication one terminal you will find this reading now swap the leads first we find reading here now we will not find a reading here. Now connect lead here. Available reading, available reading. I will demonstrate again. Black lead to terminal. Reading, reading. Move this lead to second pole of the capacitor. No indica uh, here indication. Here, no indication, no indication. Now swap the leads. First we find reading here. Now we will not find reading here in this terminal. No reading. If you find reading here, that means your capacitor will short. If the capacitor is short, then you will find the reading in both ways. You will find reading here and here. Okay, it is in this power supply. If I have an ATX power supply, connect capacitor, one end, one end here. This you can see for any power supply, any power supply you can find this way. Available in this terminal, nothing. Swap the leads. Put this lead here, reading, reading. Put lead here, no reading, no reading. So negative and positive terminal, you can find, you can test very easily. You can test the input terminals in very quick ways. Now we have problem. We cannot find anything here. So we have to test continuity. From here, if we see, here is a filter choke let's start oh it have no reading it have no reading so the filter is bad due to high current maybe we have we will find some other shorts short circuit because this inductor is now open if it is open that means we have some other issues as well.
I remove this inductor it should give continuity so it is not reading given reading that means this inductor is US unserviceable this dual line filter it is bad now correct multimeter to one end of the capacitor one end of the capacitor and oh it is short so if we connect the both end of multi both leads of multimeter to input input terminal of capacitor so we can find a short it should not short this power supply is good so here is no short so we will find in diode mode capacitor one diode the second diode if we will remove the diodes we can check the diodes this diode is short in both both sides both sides so this diode is short in the both sides so we find this capacitor four diodes fuse and this inductor open diode short capacitor short fuse open then we will verify we will replace these components and then we will verify the next function of the other components thanks for watching if you have any question let me know in the comment box if you want to watch my future videos press bell icon button if you want thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh